Hey guys, I am back. I'm home from the gym. It's about 10 a.m. After the gym, I went to the grocery store. I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna do a smoothie this morning, but I'm gonna wait and do my smoothie for lunch. I'm gonna treat myself to a nice breakfast, hopefully, not too many calories. Um, I'm gonna dice up some potatoes, maybe like two of them. I'm gonna show you what I have just a second. Okay. So I got this little six count of eggs. I'll probably use two eggs. Okay, I have this avocado. I don't have any sliced bread, but I do have these hamburger buns. And what I'll do, I'm gonna make, some, make me some avocado toast. I'm gonna take this bottom bun and use that for my toast. Uh, one of the hamburger buns, 150 calories. And I know that top bun is bigger, so that bottom one shouldn't be 75 calories, but I'll just say 75 when I put it in my fitness pal. I got me some fresh spinach. I'm going to save this uh, for my smoothie. And these are the potatoes I'm going to use. And they are pretty small. Like, that's my hand and that's one potato. And usually one potato will run you 100 calories. So what I'm going to do is try to dice up um a potato maybe two since they're so small then that should equal out to be 100 calories i'm going to scramble two eggs i'm going to cook two pieces of turkey bacon and i'll cut it up in there at the end i'm going to kind of mix it like a breakfast bowl so i'll do my potatoes uh, my two pieces of bacon i'll cut up and put over the top scramble two eggs with a little shredded cheese and uh, one piece of avocado toast and probably a small like eight ounce of coffee uh i'm gonna add up that stuff in my fitness pal before i start making it to make sure i don't change my mind but i have been doing very good um new year's i did good i didn't eat bad at all um but i have went over my intermittent fasting times i did get up two different nights this week and eat outside my window but it's okay i can still till i'm maintaining or either losing more uh so i will be back with you all in a minute let me get my stuff together when you're cooking your food make sure you season it with the seasonings that you like i use seasoned salt garlic powder himalayan pink salt and pepper okay guys i decided not to do the avocado toast with my breakfast bowl i'm cooking the potatoes right now let me show you they actually look pretty good Okay, there they go. Um, but the breakfast bowl alone was like, it's going to be like 430 calories. I seasoned it with a little paprika and a little seasoned salt. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Um, the 430 is just a breakfast bowl. It's not including the creamer. Let me start my potatoes. The creamer is like 35 calories per... 15 meals. I'm only going to use uh, 30, so I'm going to double that. That'll be 70 calories. So my breakfast all together will be 500 calories even. I will be back when I have everything done. Okay, you'll see I added my two pieces of turkey bacon on top of the potatoes, two scrambled eggs. Then I added my one third cup of shredded mild cheddar, let it melt. And like I said, I didn't do the avocado toast, but I did add my coffee. And this is one of my favorite creamers. All right, guys, breakfast is done and it looks delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. Uh, comment below and let me know some breakfast ideas you, you all have tried or thought about. Maybe I'll try them and make them. We can see how they come out. I cannot wait to eat this. And like I said, I didn't do the avocado toast. Uh, I did do coffee with two servings of creamer, which is 70 calories, which brought my meal to... 500 calories and I like to keep my meals at 500 or less uh, but here is the finished look of my breakfast bowl all right there it is it looks very good everything is melted um and there's my coffee and my dirty knife from the potatoes I gotta wash that but yep I can't wait to eat it okay I just have to come back and tell y'all this is so good I will definitely be making this for my kids. Try it. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, lunch was a smoothie. For dinner, I did season up some chicken thighs. 
I love these, this combination of seasoning. Very, very delicious. I put the skin side up when I let it marinate because I want all that seasoning to sit on the bottom of the chicken. Very, very good. Um, and you'll see, you'll see that liquid smoke sitting at the bottom with some of the seasoning. I just push it down in there, you know, put it in the oven. My kids really love, love, love the way this tastes with those seasonings. I suggest you all try it. Okay, guys, I am back home. I am baking my chicken thighs. I put them on 375 and they're a little bigger than what I thought. So I cooked them the first time for like 35 minutes, flipped them over um, for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna flip them back over again to finish it off and kind of make the skin hard. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you all can see what I'm doing right now. Okay, these are the chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna turn them back over. That liquid smoke really smells good on them. I just started using that liquid smoke maybe a month ago. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in the oven. I don't know, I'm gonna put it on like maybe 15 minutes and then maybe that skin will be, you know, harder than what it is. And it smells great. So let me finish cooking this. I'm gonna do some green beans and stop. My daughter is over here hitting me. I'm gonna do some green beans and corn. So I will see you all in just a few. And voila, here's the finished product. <laughs> my dinner was 505 calories i did half a cup of green beans half a cup of corn and i needed more calories for the day so i topped it with this sweet chili sauce it is delicious put it on fried chicken baked chicken i'm gonna try it on salmon next week but it was extremely delicious and you can see by eating healthy or not eating fried foods, you can easily eat under 500 calories. All right, y'all. I have finished my supper and it was so delicious. Um, now, I have a little cup of Stella Rose. I think this is Stella Rose peach. Um, five ounces is 100 calories. There's like 14 grams of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. The only reason I went ahead and treated myself to this, it's been a while since I've had one. Well, I had it um, New Year's or either a couple days before New Year's. I did have um, one of those bottles my sister gave me for Christmas in that variety set. Um, but wine has a lot of sugar and it will put weight on you. Because I see a lot of people that go on these diets, but they're still drinking liquor, wine. I'm like, that's why you're not dropping the weight, you know. But anyway, I treated myself to this because even after um my supper i forgot how many calories i want to say it was 400 500 and something i'll insert it in here but anyway even after uh my supper for the day i only had 1300 calories it was like 1360 and that's not enough i know this isn't a good way to get it but i'll still be under um under my goal so i'm gonna treat myself tonight have me some wine I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, what I'm going to eat tomorrow, but I'll think of something when I go to the gym tomorrow morning after I drop the kids off. Uh, it will be a little bit of cardio, then weights. Usually I do weights on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And when I go, I'll do cardio for like the first 15, 20 minutes, sometimes 30. And then I'll go to the, to the weight room. It's like a 30 minute circuit room which it usually takes me like 30 minutes, but I don't do the circus. If anybody uh, goes to Planet Fitness, you'll know the room I'm talking about. Each machine, you're supposed to do it until the green light goes off. And when it's red, that's when you switch to another machine and take a break. I believe that's how it goes. But me, I go to each machine. I'll do three sets of 10 or either three sets of 12 of each exercise. And I just keep going until I finish. Um... I really, you know, I really, really, really want to stick to it this time. I know how I felt when I was uh, 220, 219. I know a lot of you are like, okay, that's still over 200 pounds. But with me, and if you go back and watch my last video, I inserted pictures when I was 219, 220, and I was thin. Like, people could not believe I was over 200 pounds. I believe that I carried my weight well. 
I am bottom heavy. Um, so 220, I am fine with that. When I was about 185, 195, to me, I was too thin. Okay. I was saying that even though uh, when I was at my lowest weight, let me put my wine down. Hope it don't fall. When I was like 185, 195, I was very thin up top. And like, you could see, if I do this, I'm actually trying to make it stick out. But me at 185, you could see my bones. And I did not like that at all. Um, so I'm going to keep this up. I got a lot of recipes that I'm going to uh, come on here and cook. I need to get some equipment that will help me like... Um, that will hold my phone or, you know, keep my phone in place. I need to get a few things to help me with my videos because a lot of time when I'm cooking, I can't record at the same time because I need my hands. So, you know, we'll come up with different things. Um, I do want to kind of do the one meal a day again for maybe like five days just to drop some weight real quick and then get back on two, three meals a day, you know, intermittent fasting. But I feel great when I go to the gym tomorrow I will try to record in that room so you all can see because maybe if you don't go to Planet Fitness you'll join and you can do the circuit room also um, I have been trying to increase my incline on the treadmill today I just did cardio when I go to the gym I don't do the elliptical because I have elliptical here at home I'll do the treadmill or I'll do the bike. They do have this one machine that's like an elliptical, but your arms don't move. You're just basically moving your legs back and forth, back and forth, and it will work the hell out of you. <laughs> but um, I like that when I do, let's see, there's a few other ones that's cardio. I don't know the name of them, but yeah, y'all, let's just keep it up. Join this weight loss journey with me. If you mess up, start over, do it again. I'm having my wine. I'm still under my calories. Yes, it's sugar, but you know what? If you don't treat yourself, that's when we mess up. When you try to be so strict on yourself, you will fail eventually. Even though you can't get back up and start over, but you will fail. Um, I do know about two years ago, I was so strict on myself and it worked. I did intermittent fasting 10 to 6. Um, I ate three times a day, no snacks, very low carbs, very healthy. And I had three meals. I didn't even do smoothies in replacement of one meal. But with doing that, it was hard for me to even get twelve to 1,400 calories because everything was so healthy. But in three weeks, I dropped 21 pounds. So I don't know if I can beat that discipline now, uh, but I'm going to get close to it. But yes, I lost 21 pounds in three weeks. Okay. Uh, I'm almost done, y'all. Um, but I need to find a place where, you know, I can be like at a happy medium where I don't have to, you know, where I don't gain like 50, 60 pounds and I have to go on a weight loss journey to lose it all. And after my tummy tuck, I told myself if I see that I had gained five to 10 pounds, I would slowly make changes and lose it. Well, that didn't work. After I had my tummy tuck, I love the way I look. And even once I did gain the 10 pounds, I knew I gained 10 pounds because I would keep up with my weight. But I still looked great. Like, I still had the flat stomach. The fupa was gone. I love the way my clothes look. So, it's like before I knew it, boom, it was out of hand. And I have yo-yo with my weight for some years now. I definitely know how to lose it. And I definitely know how to gain it. But losing it is the hardest part. Do you all, you know, suffer with, you know, yo-yoing with your weight? Uh, if so, how long? Uh, if you have been able to keep it off for a good amount of time, what have you done or what helps you? Because maybe I can try it. Um, but I will let you all go now. Um, I still haven't forgot about making that video or the one meal a day. Hopefully I can put it to together tomorrow on friday today is thursday i think january the 4th um so i'll try to upload this video tonight once i get the kids in the bed and tomorrow uh i'll put all my pieces together and try to find uh and make the video 
when I did the OMAD where I lost, I believe it was like nine to 10 pounds just in five days. And the one meal I did eat, I pretty much ate what I wanted. I believe it just wasn't like fried or I didn't have like soda or anything like that with the meal. Cause I mean, think about it. Even if you ate, let's say burgers and fries and a drink from McDonald's, maybe 17, 1800 calories, I'm not really sure. But if you ate that for one meal, you're still going to lose weight. You're intermittent fasting. Um, but anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Any questions, comments, um, leave them down below. Uh, and you can also follow me on TikTok. I just uploaded a video earlier. I'm going to do a second one either tonight or tomorrow. Um, see you all next time. Bye.